Hello, welcome to Stupixel. In this video, we are going to see how we can use Mesh Network in Autodesk Maya for creating something related to medical science. Here you can see there is a plasma membrane structure which is consisting of protein, lipid and protein which I am going to recreate uh, in Autodesk Maya uh, by using Mesh Network. I have already created this scene and even there is a small animation over to it if you make it uh, a, a jelly form or you can if you want to give it an animation you can do that so let's see how we can create this structure so first of all I'll take a sphere polygon sphere and I'll just reduce the number of subdivision axis and let's select those two faces and simply just shift drag to extrude them I just have to create the basic structure of single uh, single cell membrane which is a protein lipid structure the structure now there is a very different kind of depiction in in every uh, image that you see in the available in the internet so I'm just taking a, a very basic example of the structure Wait. Just extrude. scale That's it. Now what you can do is just drag them out a little bit to make it a little bit random pointy that's it so now as you already have the base of this you can increase the length of it if you want Now, what you can do is just go to the front view and make sure if you hit insert button in your viewport, you can manually shift your pivot point to any position. I want it on on top of it because I want to duplicate this and flip this structure to create the other part. Now why I'm doing this is you need to try to understand that I want uh, the base structure to be like one on the top or top part and the one on the lo lower part. So there are two uh, different layers of, of the, the, the top part and the bottom part are the spherical structure and the in between are the connected lipid structure. So what I can do is I just hit insert and set my uh, pivot point over there and then I have to uh, have to go to modify and freeze transformation and go to edit delete by type and delete by history why I'm deleting history over here is very important because while duplicating you don't need any any sort of uh, uh, values in your uh, channel box over here that we have to be very very careful I have to press control D just with duplicate and go to your x-axis and hit 180 and immediately you can see the duplication has been done on exactly the opposite side so now again you select the copied one and go to uh, modify freeze transformation go to edit delete by type delete the history so now as your object has been created now still the top part and the bottom part are not uh, are separated so what we can do is over here is select both of them and go to mesh and say combine great now again I have a poly unite uh, uh, connection over here which I don't have any requirement uh, so what can I do is go to edit delete by type history to delete the history 
now great everything is clean in my channel box and now we can go to our mesh network and just hit a mesh then go to attribute editor and first you want you will already have a retopo option over there or a, and this uh, sorry uh, a distribute option over there and if you want to increase the number of points you can uh, increase it right now or even you can access this later on great now after that go to mesh one and create a replicator add a replicator node and if you increase the number of replication you can see you already have a very basic structure over there now this will be my basic structure of uh, of the of the uh, plasma membrane and yeah so now it's all all set for the basic uh, part now what we can do is for creating that unevenness we have to go to again go to the outliner and select the mesh and you can add a signal node into it which actually creating some randomization now the signal type is a very fundamental one it's like adding some certain kind of a noise to make uh, to break a certain uh, level of symmetry so now it's it's if there's a four five different kind of noises out there one is 4d noise looping noise fraction brownian motion trigonometry or curl noise my personal is always fractional brownian motion which actually give you a very perfect result over the entire structure now you can decrease little bit of y positions value to create uh, the desired result or even you can increase or decrease in the y and x x and y axis positions to make it more wobble or more uh, je of, uh, jelly like motion now that is up to you I'm showing you with this particular structure because this structure is a very very uh, unstable not rigid so not unstable it's a very uh, wrong term in terms of the uh, uh, scientific uh, terminology but uh, you can use uh, use this to make it a little bit uh, non rigid structure so yeah now it's now it's getting better okay so fine there are other uh, uh, signals that we can use like trigonometry also and you can just reduce the number of uh, just reduce the number of X and Y position to uh, creating a complete randomization of this of, of, of this uh, presentation but I still go for the fractional ground in motion and I still can use them because it's it's always give me that liquid or semi fluid motion inside the entire structure which actually uh, going to help me to create this now you can decrease the noise scale or if you have a s specific requirement you can use this now you can see the the molecular structure is perfectly fine and it's actually giving you a overall uh, fluidic motion great so that's it that's it for for this video hope you enjoy this and you can use this uh, a mesh network for uh, other structures as well for uh, medical animations thank you very much